Hey everyone, Matt Wolf here with LearnToBlog.com, and today I want to make a quick video that shows you exactly how fast and how cheap it actually is to get your first site up and running. I'm going to take you through the process of having absolutely no site whatsoever to having a blog online all within this video, all within just a few minutes. So the first thing we recommend is using a site called HostGator. You can go to HostGator.com and sign up through them. This is our preferred hosting provider. This is who we use on a lot of our personal sites to create our websites. So if you come up here to view web hosting plans and click here, you can see they've got several plans. Now there's the hatchling plan, the baby plan, and the business plan. The hatchling plan we're not a big fan of because it's only a single domain name. So let's say you want yourname.com, but also you want uh, yourgardeningblog.com. You can only host one domain on this hosting plan. With the baby plan, you can actually have multiple sites all on the same server. So you can have multiple different .com names and all be hosted on this same server. So the baby plan is what we recommend. And as you can see, it starts at $6.36 a month. And it, uh, you know, there's different pr pricing plans based on how long you get it for. So I'm going to go ahead and click order now and I'm going to sign up for a hosting account. Now for this example, I'm going to create a gardening blog and I'm going to call it Matt loves gardening.com. And as you can see, it says, congratulations, Matt loves gardening.com is available and has been added to your cart. So as you can see here, they give you several options for billing. You can prepay one month, six month, 12 month, 24 months, all the way up to 36 months. Now I like to prepay for the full year and do 12 months. You can see the difference is 796 a month versus 797 a month, but don't worry about that. That says that 20% off and I'm gonna show you how to get even more than 20% off. So go ahead and select 12 months. And for the username, I'm just gonna go put Matt G-A-R-D, short for Matt Gardens. It only let, lets me do uh, two to eight characters. So I'll just use Matt G-A-R-D, uh, security pin. I'll just enter one, two, three, four for now, and I can go and change that later. Now for billing information, I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my billing information real quick. And now that I've got my billing information plugged in, I can scroll down here and look at the hosting add-ons. Now these are things that they put on at additional cost. You really don't need any of them, so I'm not gonna use any of them. I'm gonna go ahead and unselect both of these. You can see down at the bottom, it brought my price down to $118.42 for the year. And that's $95.52 uh, for the 12 months of hosting and $12.95 for the domain registration. I'm also gonna go ahead and take off this domain privacy protection. I don't really care that much about that. And that will reduce it by even more. So now you can see I owe 108.47 for the whole thing. Now here's what's kind of funny. Over in the coupon code, it says snappy. This is the coupon code they automatically plug in for you. And it says you have chosen our most valuable coupon. However, if you enter the coupon code learn to blog one and then click validate, Watch what happens to the price down here. It actually drops down another 10 bucks. So it just went down to $98.58. That's because the snappy coupon code gives you 20% off and the coupon code learn to blog one gives you 30% off. So switch that coupon code out to learn to blog one and watch as it actually drops the price even more. Go ahead and click I have read and agree to the terms and conditions of use and click create account. So now it's basically sending me a message that says, thank you, we will send you an email with more details about your hosting account. Okay, so here is the email that just came across from HostGator. So now we're gonna go ahead and get WordPress set up on our site, which is gonna be our content management system. This is where we're actually gonna design the site in and it's gonna make it really easy for us to manage our web page. So see where it says your control panel? I'm gonna go ahead and click on that link and it's gonna bring up this page for cPanel and ask for a username and password. So I'm gonna jump back to my email. You can see my username here was Matt Guard. Let's go ahead and click copy. I'll paste that into the username. And then it assigned me a password here, these random letters and numbers. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy the password and I will paste that into the password. I'll go ahead and log in. And this is what it looks like inside of our HostGator control panel. Now to get WordPress installed, it's really, really simple. I'm going to scroll down here to this button that says quick install. I'm gonna click on that button and you'll see a link up here on the top left that says WordPress. I'll click WordPress. 
I'll go ahead and click continue. And then I'm going to leave this blank because I want the blog to just go on mattlovesgardening.com. If you want it to be on slash blog or something like that, you can do that by typing blog here. But most scenarios, you're just going to leave that blank. Enable auto upgrade. That's going to make it so whenever there's a new WordPress update, it's going to automatically update. I'll go ahead and leave that checked. So now I'm just going to fill out the details here. Email. Blog title. Matt loves gardening. User. I'll just put Matt. First name Matt. Last name Wolf. Go ahead and click install now. It's going to run a real quick install process. You'll see this will be really fast here in a second. It just kind of takes a second to get started. And that's it. Now it says, congratulations, you've got WordPress installed. And it gives me a username and it automatically generated a password for me. So now I can go ahead and open this in a new tab. I'm going to go ahead and open it there. Now, just a fair warning, occasionally it will take a little bit of time before this page is ready. There was about a five minute gap or so from the time I finished this install, I went ahead and paused the video and then this page started showing up. Sometimes it does take a couple minutes for that to happen, but mine is ready now. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy my password here. And then my username is Matt and I will paste in my password. And now I can log into the back end of WordPress. Now, if I go ahead and click over here, I can right click and visit my site in a new tab. And you can see we've got a site here. This is the default WordPress theme that comes pre-installed. It's not a super impressive theme right out of the box. However, uh, there are some free themes that you can use to kind of get it set up in the beginning. If I click on appearance here, and I click on themes, you can see that it comes with 2014 theme, which is the current theme that's installed. It comes with 2013 and 2012. Uh, 2012 is a little more eye-pleasing in my opinion because it's a little it's a little more simple. You can go ahead and select that. That kind of looks like a more basic blog style design. However, you can click here on add new theme and it brings you to an area where you can actually search for themes. So if you click on featured, we can take a look at some of the most recently updated themes we could use this responsive theme, this 16 theme, um, any of these. Uh, you can click on newest, see some of the newer themes that are available for free with WordPress right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and click back to the featured themes and pick one of these themes for now. Uh, I really like the look of this responsive theme, so I'll go ahead and click install now. And I will go ahead and click activate. Now if I come over to Matt Loves Gardening and reload the page, you can see that this new theme is now installed. So now it's time to create a post. Let's go ahead and create our first blog post. To do that, simply come up to posts, click on add new, and we can start creating our very first post. Welcome to my blog. That's where that's the title of your post, and here's where you will add the actual content of your post. So this is my brand new blog. Thanks so much for visiting. I hope you enjoy it. Cool. Now let's go ahead and create a category for this. Let's call this news. Let's make this the news category, add new category and create some tags. Let's tag it with new blog, uh, news, fun stuff, and use those as our tags. Go ahead and click publish. Let's jump over to our blog and refresh it. And you can see that it's now showing my latest blog posts. Obviously, we can do quite a bit more customization with this blog if we wanted to. Uh, if we come back over to our blog settings, come over to appearance, you've got theme options here. And this is where you can really dive into your theme options and, and tweak everything. Uh, switch out that logo uh, that says responsive here, switch it out with your brand. Uh, add some social media icons, that sort of thing can all be done really easily under the theme options. And most themes have a little button here that says theme options where you can add whatever you want in. So that concludes our quick little tutorial on how to get your WordPress website set up really fast. Hopefully that was helpful. Over at learntoblog.com, we've got our seven day boot camp where you can actually 
dive a little bit deeper in how to into how to customize and how to add more features to your blog. It's a free seven day boot camp. Just go over to learn to and enter your email address and we can get you more details on that. Thanks so much for watching this video. Hopefully that was helpful. Go get your blog online today. Talk to you soon.